All right, guys, I hope you can see me. Opening morning, nobody was parked where I'm planning on hunting, so that's a good thing. I'm walking in, not even getting daylight yet, so I'm in the dark. Got probably a little while till daylight, but I got a long walk, so I'll check in when I'm in the stand. Opening day in Pennsylvania, let's get it, let's go. So he sat right in front of me. So literally I was looking directly at a person. So I got out of my stand and I'm walking. The wind is really bad up on this mountaintop. It's like 20 plus mile an hour gush probably. So every time the wind really blows, I'm walking and just really looking. And just taking slow, slow strides. Slow, just a slow walk. And see if I can see any deer. I'm just walking the edge of this top, looking down over in these benches, and the wind is going up the hill, so they won't smell me. So I'm just gonna hunt my way for a few hours like this, just a couple hundred yards, and then stop and watch. No movement at all. Very, very my, not very many shots either. I'd say less than a dozen. And I'm on public land. This is opening day, buck doe and bear, so. A lot less than I was expecting, but that's my game plan. I'm just gonna kind of sneak and peek. So I hate the wind, but sometimes you can use it to your advantage when you want to move. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm after a big old PA mountain buck. Center County, Pennsylvania. All right, I just got a call, text from my dad. He just capitalized on a good one. I'm pumped. I actually gave him a camera this morning, so he was filming as well. So part of this hunt is going to be his hunt. Obviously, he just had success, so I'm going to put this next part all of his hunt so awesome i'm still out hunting so maybe the next part after his will be me dropping the hammer so awesome i'm so happy for him something special about hunting especially your family and friends and when you're especially your dad has success <laughs> anybody that hunts and, and truly loves it understands how how happy it makes you feel. I'm really happy for him. Hope you enjoy.
Well, as you got to see, I, hopefully I got that deer I just shot at. And hopefully it was on camera. So I'm going to go over here and see, see what's going on. So I think I got him. But we're going to go take a peek here. See if I'm going to find blood here. He just broke his antler off when he hit the ground. Man, he's a big buck. I hit him back. He's right here. Wow. Hopefully I can find that antler. There he is. He broke his antler off right here somewhere. Well, he's a, it's an eight point. I, I, looks like he broke his point off right there somewhere. I'm gonna try to find it here. Hopefully, I can find it. It's terrible. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Lord, for this deer. That was a nice one. Thank you, dear. I appreciate that. This was the second buck I seen this morning. I seen a smaller one. I'm pretty thankful I didn't shoot him now. So, and then I uh, got this guy. 9:30. He was walking away from me, and then he turned and just came, came, tried to go to my right. And I was able, thankfully, to get a shot at him and make it happen. Very thankful. I was sitting up there. On the top, I could see both directions down, both sound down both sides of the hill. So, and I had mine go on my left earlier. A nice little six or eight point, and I might have him on film too. I'm not sure, just not sure if you can see him or not. But this guy here, he's got, he's got, uh, looks like he was really fighting. He's got one, two, three antlers broke off right there on the, on his right side. He had a, he had, looks like he had a kicker one to one so that's too bad but it happens he's been fighting you can see that <laughs> nice deer nice big old buck very thankful for him He was a nine point, but he lost three points off that left side, so that's what it is. I'll take him. Thank you. All right, you saw that video. I just got back. I'm going to help my dad get it out. There he is. Man of the hour. Slayer. Wow, that is a dandy. Look at that buck, guys. I think that corner got busted a little bit. He's got five points broke off. Hold him up. He's got five points broke off. One, two, three, four. Right now, I guess four. I'm sorry, four. That is a nice buck, though. Yeah. Really nice buck. 
That's probably what the second biggest buck you ever got. Probably, yeah. Too bad that main beam got busted. I think I can. I think it's look. Look how clean that is there. I think it just broke off up there. What do you think? I think when he flipped over, maybe he broke it. I don't know. I'm gonna help, but if you can see, huh? I got the truck right there. He already did most of the work. <laughs> Opening day PA, success. Hold right there. Let me get a picture. Like inside the truck. That looks big air. <laughs> Holy smoke. <laughs> this is an amazing deer. Proud of the old boy. Good job, Dad. Thank you. Put it there. Thanks. Alright. Get into the next. Alright guys. I'm currently Getting up to my tree stand for the last hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes of daylight. Uh, this is the stand, as you saw, my dad shot his beautiful buck in this morning. So, see if we can get two out of it one day. That is day one in the book in Pennsylvania. I ended up seeing nothing all day except a bobcat. Um, <laughs> that's how it goes some days. But I'll be back after it tomorrow. But on another note, that was an amazing deer my dad got. And so I'm just happy it was when I got to help him take it out of the woods and be part of that. So. Great first day, no complaints. It was awesome. So, I appreciate everybody who watches and follows me. So, until next time, keep it outside. Thanks for watching.